What up? Yo. Oh, you brought the wheels, man? Man, yeah, this thing buddy. fits on here nice. Look at that. Yeah, man. That's sleek. Yeah, boy. Should we go stupid fast or what? Stupid fast. Stupid fast. Do it. What do you think about the uh, the board up E? I really like it. You like it? Lots of power, right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Downstater here. So today I wanted to make a video on something I love and to discuss the two machines on this table right now. If you're watching this, you can probably agree with me that personal electric vehicles, PEVs as they are called, such as the one wheel, electric skateboards, I'll even go as far as saying scooters, they're awesome. You know, they're, they're efficient, they're fun, they're, they're good means of transportation. I use this thing constantly these days. The one thing they all kind of have in common though is that they're all just bulky and not very practical for traveling or really any kind of storage or anything of the nature. Uh, the one wheel is a perfect example. It's It couldn't be more of a weird bulky shape and it sucks to have it in your truck. It sucks to, you know, you can't travel with it. It doesn't fit in a carry-on. Um, you gotta buy like a custom bag for it. It's, it's frustrating at best. Same thing with electric longboards. Uh, you know, they, they are long and bulky and hard to put into your car and they roll around and knock all over. They don't fit in bags either. Uh, they're just, both of these are awesome and horrible at the same time. Like I said, they all kind of share that one big problem. They're just not very manageable. They're not easy to travel with. It's, it's kind of frustrating. So what I'm bringing you today is an answer to all of those issues that commonly happen with one wheels and electric skateboards. What we have here is the Board Up E. This is a board that was designed by a company in California and folds <laughs> very easily. Uh, it's, it's a really beautiful design. And so in this initial video, I wanted to basically show you the board, show you what it's all about, um, do a range test and kind of a brief overview of what the board is and what it isn't. Uh, and then in subsequent videos, we're gonna do some traveling and see how it actually works in the real world. How cool is this thing? All right, so first things first, I just really want to see if this thing actually has the range it says it does. So I'm going to pull out the phone, figure out a little course here, uh, maybe about a mile course, and just lap it, just hot lap it and see what it actually does. Um, you know, that's that's kind of my biggest, I guess, issue with a lot of these boards is that the, the range is just nonsense. It's not true. So let's get to that. Well, sadly, she's running out of steam. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, it's probably doing the flicker. Yep, it's doing the flicker. Well, anyway, we are at 14 kilometers right now. And uh, so that's about, what is that? About eight, nine miles. And it is at the point where it's barely even going up hills. I mean, really struggling on the hills. Like I am basically not moving right now. The, uh, the verdict is in. I really like this, bo this board a lot. Uh, and it's, it's for the obvious reasons. You know, this is not a powerhouse. It's not a performance uh, electric skateboard, but I travel a lot for work and just in general. Um, and it makes that part of my life so much better because of 
the folding aspect. I mean, the fact that I can throw this on my bike, um, which you saw in that clip earlier, or you know, into a, a, a carry-on, or you know, even on a train, wherever I'm at, you know, just it's so discreet to have this thing folded up, carrying like like you see here uh, with the, the the handle that it's got. It's just a beautiful thing. It's not, you know, the, the problem I have with the really high-end long boards is that they are long, um, quite long, in fact. And you look like kind of a weirdo going into a, uh, a hotel or, a, you know, even a coffee shop, whatever, with a, a normal electric long board. They're, they're massive, you know, they're quite long. They're kind of cumbersome. They're annoying to carry. Um, so you're giving up a little bit of performance with this thing, but you are gaining a ton of functionality, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm all about functionality. I absolutely love function before form. Now the form is good too though. This is kind of a hybrid board which I love. So it enables you to have you know a smaller size but you still have some sort of a kick tail back here. It is weird because it's not upturned but it's enough to get some kick turns in if you need to. So it's just a really cool design. You know another buddy of mine he's a YouTuber uh, no nonsense know how. He tried the board and he loved it as well. Uh, he loved that aspect of it. You know he's got a couple of the Meepos and uh, another one Eskate or or there's some other brand he's, he's uh, doing reviews for. But anyway, uh, they're all either a short board with a kicktail or a long board without a kicktail. With this, you get kind of the best of both worlds, and that's, that's kind of awesome too. So I wanted to talk about just some basics on the board. I got it up to a maximum of 24 miles per hour. To me, that is more than enough. I believe that's actually a little bit more than they even state on their website. Uh, and the most range I got was 11 miles on the medium mode. Uh, and I switched to high here and there too. I tried to do a real world test. I wasn't doing it um, super, super light. Obviously, medium is, is kind of annoyingly slow. So in certain situations, high is really where you're gonna be um, comfortably. Um, never went on the high plus. I think high plus is really just kind of like a turbo mode and it's unnecessarily fast in my opinion. It's really not needed. So when I was in high, uh, regular high mode, I got up to about, like I said, 24 miles an hour and that's more than enough. So quickly, let's go over the good and the bad and then we'll close this thing out. So I like to start with the bad because usually we'll try to end on a good note. As we, as we discussed earlier, the, uh, the range is limited. Uh, 11 miles, in my opinion, even though it's better than most of the boosted boards that came out during the KC Nystat days, it's still pretty limited. You know, I would like to see 20 miles on a skateboard. Um, it's comfortable enough where I can ride 20 miles and not want to get off of it. Um, and with some of the stuff, some of the videos we, we both have planned coming up, longer range would be nice. Um, now this is not a, um, because of the design, you can't upgrade this battery. I've been thinking about maybe doing a range extender. I don't know, I'm, I'm playing with the idea right now, but we shall see. Um, overall though, the, the range is good. It's just not really enough for my liking. So the next bad thing I was gonna mention is this hinge. I did kind of mention it earlier. It's not the worst thing in the world uh, as far as the sloppiness, uh, but if you are a true you know, kind of perfectionist, I would, I would call it maybe a 16th of slop in there. Now, in order for the hinge to work, it does need that slop uh, in order for the, for the pin to be able to retract and unlock it. So it's kind of a necessary evil and they built enough concave into this where when you have your weight on there, it's perfect. I mean, literally this board rides perfectly even with the design it has. So I, is it a negative? Yeah, I guess, but really not much of one at all. The last thing I was gonna mention is the dust cover for the charging port. So the charging port's right there. Um, it's, this is a, a little nitpick, so please bear with me here, but I do wanna be honest. You know, I've even had co companies contact me uh, and give me a hard time, but this is, this is the deal. I'm going to be honest with all this stuff that I do on here. It's just how I operate. So this dust cover, uh, it's got a standard, you know, charging port, uh, but there, there's no attached du dust cover. It does come with one, uh, and I don't know where it is right now, and that's exactly the problem, actually, and I, that was not for the video. I literally have no idea where I put it because it's not attached, and it does bother the hell out of me when they don't have uh, the, the charging port cover attached somewhere because then you end up just kind of sticking it somewhere, and it's just, it's... It's an afterthought, it's a poor design, and I do think they should make an attached dust cover so that when you're done charging, you close it right away. There's no chance of dust or water getting in there. Um, again, it's a small nitpick, but I really think they should do that. Next, let's talk about the good on this board. 
So the first thing about the good is obviously the folding aspect. It is such a nice design. There's a couple clips in this video that you've already seen of how well it works. It's beautiful. It just works flawlessly. It folds up right behind you, you grab it. It's such a nice design that this, this heel kind of uh, mechanism and the way that the, the trucks are sitting, you know, positioned and everything, the, the sizing of everything, it's just, beautifully done and it you don't look like a goofball doing it it just looks natural in fact i had a lot of people even comment you know i'd come up to a shop or something and just heel kick it grab it and walk in and, and people go in there and be like man that thing is slick is that you know in fact there was a one i did catch uh at a car show we were at she didn't want to have her face shown is that motorized yeah it is actually yeah that's awesome what a great idea yeah yeah it's pretty cool it's called the board up and uh it's a motorized skateboard and uh yeah what do you think it's terrific. Great cool, idea. cool. Well, thank you for the input. Appreciate it. Take care. But that was one of the ladies that came up to me and was just blown away by this thing. Uh, she came from all the way across the car show, too, to tell me that. So, really cool design. I love the folding aspect, and this does fit in a carry-on bag. And... Um, it also just is nice to be able to throw it in your truck or your vehicle and not have it rolling around and taking up so much space. The folding aspect is not just for travel. It's also better in your house. It's better in your car. It's better you know, on a train. It's better in every situation. I love the fact that this board folds. I know I'm a broken record here, but it's just such a good design for an electric skateboard. I can't believe this board has not sold more than it has. Honestly, I do feel that way. So the next good thing I wanted to mention is that it is a truly solid feeling board. Even though you do have this gigantic hinge in here, there is gonna be some inherent sloppiness in that, just that's how mechanics work. It is a solid feeling board. I've been on boards my entire life, uh, snowboards, skateboards, you name it, everything. And it still feels very solid under the foot. Um, no, no, like, I have no apprehension about like hitting turns hard or, or just riding this thing hard. I do feel like it was well built well designed and will you know stand the test of time. I'm very happy with the uh, the feel of the board. That one can kind of parlay into the next comment I was going to make, which is that uh, it's just a beautifully designed board. Um, you know, you've probably saw some of the close-ups earlier, but it's just nicely done. I think this is like the version two or version three of this board, and you can tell they've gone through some revisions. Um, and it's just, they kind of thought of everything. It's just really, really well done. I'll give you some quick examples from just like a mechanical engineering aspect. Um, this cable for the unlock mechanism is actually routered into the board, so it can't move anywhere. It's stuck there. Uh, they have really nice, just like um, pressed plates in here to hold the cable. Uh, the, the hinge mechanism itself has really nice hardware. Um, you know, same thing with the actual, it, everything's stainless in here with the actual um, pin actuation device right here. It's, it's just well done. I mean, I got to give these guys credit. It's a, it's a, it's a cast alloy uh, battery case, which also has the ESC. Everything's combined in one box. This is not cheap to make. This is not easy to make. These are expensive, hard parts to get produced. And, um, and it's also got a battery meter right here. It's just, I, I can't say it enough, the fact that this is just a nicely designed you know, well put together board. It's not a toy. It's not like something that you buy it at, you know, a local store. This is a nice, really, really nice quality product. Um, the motors are just beautifully done. Everything on it, I, I'm just super impressed by. There's even a little stainless uh, kicktail kind of protector right here. Again, details. It's all about the details, and it looks like this version that they've that they've sent me is just beautifully, beautifully done. So as far as things I'd like to see improved, um, there's not much, to be honest. I would maybe like to see, um, the biggest thing I would like to see, I'm, I'm happy with the power, I'm happy with the, 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 the actual fit and finish and everything else. I think the battery, if possible, it would be nice to see a bigger battery in here. More importantly though, and the way I think this company could just crush this market, is to figure out a way to make the battery removable. If it was removable and swappable, this board would probably overtake the market because you could truly travel with this thing everywhere. Um, you know, a folding, a folding board with a removable battery, I, why would you ever use any other board, especially for travel? Uh, it, it's the only way you can do air travel. So, um, I think that is just something that they really need to work on. I feel like they're like kind of halfway there. Um, and then just need to kind of figure out that other half. And if they did, I really do feel like this company could make a huge dent in this market. 
All right, so that's what I got for this video. I appreciate it if you've hung out to this point. Um, I do want to let you guys know too that I, I <laughs> there's been a lot of kind of um, smaller videos that I've been doing because of some personal issues, some things that are going on in my life that are uh, kind of getting resolved. Um, and uh, I won't get into it, but uh, it's it's hampered my ability to go and do the bigger projects that we've had planned. Um, but there are some bigger projects planned, and they are going to be coming up soon. So I hope you guys stay tuned and watch for that. There's. Uh, there's going to be another bridge uh, soon in my future, and uh, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, just some more stuff upstate and just all around, too, with motorcycles. Uh, I have an upcoming uh, GS850 review coming up, so if you are here for the motorcycle stuff, too, definitely tune in for that. Uh, it should be pretty good. All right, we'll talk to you soon, and thanks for hanging for this one.